the evils of being always right for me is telling you what's going to happen seeing it happen not wanting it to happen hoping that something else happens and uh yeah you know what i mean so uh, what happened today? We had price action and the price action did exactly what we said it was probably going to do yesterday, uh, playing out to a T now the reversal is probably due. Now, this is a dangerous time because it could lead to a breakdown. I'll show you the chart, uh, and we'll talk about it now. So, uh, what did I say? Uh, it, I couldn't have predicted this better if I had Frankie candles, mom's abacus on me. Uh, we had this trend line coming up here. We had wicked over here and over here. And it was starting to move up here. And I said that this 200 SMA was kind of closing in uh, that it, it and, and by the way, it was a little aggressive here. Uh, you can see right here, it curved downward just a little bit more than uh, maybe like. But uh, I said that we're probably going to pop down here. Uh, would like to have seen when we were doing this right here, right here. I said I would like to see it come up here before coming back down and retesting. But uh, we didn't get that pop. Uh, we got that drop. And the reason that we got that drop was there was a big 36 ETH sell. And it was for someone who bought 76 days ago. Uh, and they bought and they paid, they bought 38 ETH worth of Ben that they sold for 36 ETH. Now, uh, if you want to talk donkeys, uh, this guy, uh, and, and I use that term with all love, um, for anybody who loses ETH to the community pool. <laughs> uh, God, Dougie. Uh, so you lost two ETH. Um, that makes you uh, what the French call for investor. Now, could be that you're cutting your losses because you don't think that the price action is going to go back up, but that would be nonsense. Uh, just considering if you had held uh, probably through today, you're looking at a trend reversal right here. So, but I'm, you know what? I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, if you want to lose money, that's on you uh, because I'm always here. Uh, to take those two ETH and turn it into my two ETH. No big deal, right? Uh, but what we see right now is we saw the breakdown. We didn't get the pump. Uh, we didn't get the little pump before we got the dump. We just got the straight dump. Uh, now we're on this move back up. Now, one of the big pieces that I, I do want to point out is if you were to go over here to the charts on Dextools and start looking through the transactions and you will see uh, a bunch of, I, I'm going to call them, uh, really, really smart, nice people because they're probably going to be future Ben investors. But the the one thing that that BitBoy Crypto said was it would be silly for somebody to take their Ben tokens, sell them, and move them to the Dubai tokens because you just don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, and it's a presale, so you're not going to get a massive pump on a presale. You're probably just going to get a dump, uh, depending on where the market cap liquidity is when it starts. Just like we got on like Psyop and and, and all these other silly presale uh, things. You, you, presales don't really uh, cause these massive moves the way that they did before, right? So what do we see? Well, if you go look at the chart, it's exactly what you're seeing. You're seeing a bunch of people uh, uh, selling Ben in order to buy a Dubai token. Uh, not certainly what anybody wanted, but it is what it is, and we wish them all the success. And we do hope uh, that there is a nice pump, because if they pump um, the, and, and then they come back, then they have a little bit of more, uh, they can buy a little bit more better their position, uh, because in their mind, they're going to be like, well, you know, I just want to get a better position on Ben. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, that's exactly what I was trying to do, right? But every time something comes up, you're going to cheat out and you're going to sell. So uh, is it, are you really are you, are you really helping? Do you know what I mean? Uh, it, we, we do have to consider all things when we're considering these things. So um, I, I do see there is a reversal underway, I think, um, that we're going to bounce off of here, move back into this range. Now, we've got some rejection here at 5,000. That we're going to have to deal with if we if we break through that then we've got rejection here at around 5400 uh so we'll have to contend and deal with that if we don't have some solid push then i would expect uh maybe even a rejection here not even pushing back up into this 5000 6000 range uh it could be that we just pop on 5000 right here and then get summarily rejected back down here and start to do this and then move upwards from there or break down a little bit further because it is entirely possible at this point um, and, and, you know, we can listen all day long and, and you can hear, uh, in the videos and stuff and you see Ben C I'm, you know, I'm hundred percent focused on, on, on Ben token right now, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I have to do this Dubai thing. Well, then that means that, you know, the Dubai thing has some importance. Here's the problem. You're not seeing the importance of it right now because the, the, the importance of it can't 
be conveyed properly right now. Uh, and that's a complication. That's a complication that we really don't want uh, when we're making that investment. We, we, we take these things on faith, right? Uh, so uh, if we take this on faith and we just do the math on the rumors that I hear about what could be happening or could be in the pipeline, then I would look at when I heard the news around here and I would say that uh, what we've got is a date. And, and look, I'm not giving you any numbers, right? I'm not giving you any numbers, but uh, I would say that we've got a date with, I don't want to put too much of a spot on it, but I think we got a date at about 13, 520. Uh, and that's going to be six zeros, 13, 520, uh, which is going to be roughly 3x from where we are right now. So I do think that that is the spot of destiny that we're probably going to go to. And look, I know some math that exists, right? And I and I think that math does play out. So uh, work with me on this and just understand that uh, there's some people who are going to miss out on it probably uh, because they can't, they don't have the patience, they don't have the wherewithal, they don't have the ability uh, to control themselves to the point they, they need to be constantly stimulated from their investment. Uh, you know them. They're the people that aren't going to make it. They're the people that in the end that you in this wealth transfer called crypto, it's the people that's who you make your money off. Um, the people who uh, come in, buy and go like, yeah, bro, I made like 0.1 ETH, bro. I'm just going to go buy myself some notches and then I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> I'm going to get into this coin. And then they get wrecked and they become somebody else's exit liquidity. And they're like, oh, man, I don't even like crypto anymore, bro. Whatever they say, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know. Anyway, so this is the move. This is the play. I think that's getting ready to happen. Uh, I don't think that we're going to see it all at once. But it, I think we're going to see kind of a buildup uh, starting to happen over. We got about two weeks here. Uh, so I think over about two weeks, we're going to see, you know, just a little moving around here. We could see this move down here. We could see this move up here. Nothing big is going to happen until something big happens. And then when something big happens, uh, I think we're just going to see this right here. Here's the thing. I think that move right there is going to be so crushing and so rapid when it does happen that we're also going to see another pump that comes after that. But I don't have any guarantee of that because every time I would say something like, well, you know, we, we've got a bunch of diamond handed people. We find out how paper uh, those diamonds are uh, very, very rapidly. Uh, now, there, the good point is uh, there's not enough real resistance through this area. So if we get into this spot, we don't have that much resistance um, uh, and, and we will have broken it through here. And the people that are not selling in this area that are allowing this, this chart to move will then just probably hold on and hodl and see about the all-time high. Most probably uh, their profit-taking venture is going to be somewhere in that 1780 range. Uh, and then again at the 90-ish percentile 2582 then so i'm just i'm speculating rampantly wildly guessing about what is getting ready to happen here so uh just join me on the journey or don't but uh market cap about 20 million uh volume up four percent to 1.4 million um it, we now have a spanish telegram uh global community has not stopped growing we're proud to announce that our spanish telegram community is open to learn more about ben nation join here and there is a link on join ben coin uh, if you want to go check that out. And um, uh, BitBoy is, himself is saying, all good things must come to an end. Over the time of this sale, this project and event have grown bigger and bigger. Can't wait to host the event and see how this project does. Knowing about the plans and scope of this project, I've actually gotten more bullish every single day. Now, also, we know that they, uh, you know, they're they moving an office over, uh, at least for Bencoin, over into, and I think the hit networks, into Dubai. Uh, and that makes him even more bullish on it because that is really representative of what the Dubai coin uh, stands for uh, is the building of an ecosystem throughout Dubai, uh, staging events, uh, doing different things that that will encompass Dubai and turn it into a centralized hub for cryptocurrency. So, uh, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, and the bell to be notified of future content. It's so important. Like button, leave a comment. Uh, That's not financial advice. My name is Blaze Amarjo. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will talk to you again very, very soon. Sorry I rambled on a little bit, but I'm kind of passionate about where I think this thing is going.